All right, folks. Today we are going to look at drawing an orthographic projection. We already have our border laid out and our lines from the previous video. We have a section for the front view, the top view, and the right side view. So the way we are going to start this is by taking our measuring scale, looking for the number 16, the made in Germany, that's the side we want. That's our regular measuring side. And we're going to figure out how big our block is we're going to draw. So this is what we're going to draw. Here's the front view. It's made up of three one inch cubes. So this side is gonna be two inches, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, two inches. Here's the top view. And here's the right side view. I know it's a little bit wonky. Bear with me. So the first thing we're gonna draw is the, the front view. The way we're gonna do that, we are going to pick a spot in the corner here. We're gonna pick a spot in the lower left-hand corner. And I'm making a little dot so you can see, you will not have to make a dot like that. And then I'm gonna take my ruler And I'm going to make a two inch mark and I can actually go ahead and draw that line two inches. Now I got a two inch line that is going to be the bottom side here. But then I want to go up two inches so I'm going to set my two inch mark on my line and go up two inches. I'm going to go over to an inch on the top. I'm going to go up one inch. And then I just have to go back an inch. And back an inch down. I know, I know some of you are saying, hey, that's not right. You uh, should be using your T-square to make all your lines and that should be taped down. Well, sometimes we don't have those tools available to us. I do here have those available, but if you were doing this at home, you might not have that. So I'm gonna show you how you can use what you do have to get those three views. So we have our front view here. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to line these lines up and very lightly take those up to the top view, very, very lightly. We're gonna take all the vertical lines and very lightly make those go up. We have three vertical lines. We're taking those up. So now, we essentially have our shapes. We just have to give it a uh, top and a bottom. So we're gonna pick a point here in the bottom and we're gonna go straight over, trying to keep it parallel with this line. And we're gonna go from this point all the way over to this line. And now we need to measure up the thickness of our object which is one inch. One inch mark. Make a line that's parallel to our other line. So now we have the outline here of our shape. And we will have this center line because looking down here, we would see a line here that would differentiate between the two levels of the piece. So now we can go over to our right side view and take all of our horizontal lines and transfer them over
and then we want to pick a point in the lower left hand corner and make that line go vertical and then we need to measure over the width of our object here which we already know is one inch so we'll go over one inch and we'll take that line up trying to keep it parallel with the other line and now we have essentially our front view but we have some lines that are kind of needing to be erased and we have object lines that need to be darkened in so the first thing we need to do is figure out what needs to stay and darken that in And then we need to erase everything that doesn't belong. All those lines that we use to transfer, we need to erase them and that's why we make them really light. And there we go folks, we have our object number one drawn out in an orthographic projection. Front, top, right side view, all done. So someone could see this and they could get the picture of what we were talking about. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching. A little bit ago I asked the people who watch these videos to comment on what they would like to be called, the subscribers of this channel. So I had some thoughts. One person said, hey you should call us shoppers because you work in the shop, so that's an option. Another one is you could be called taters because there's sometimes I say, hey, later, tater, or whatever you think. If you have an idea, go ahead and put it in the comments section, and then maybe we'll take your idea instead of taters or shoppers. Just a thought, hey, thanks so much for watching. Remember to work hard because hard work is its own reward.